Hey guys, this is Hunter with Brunk Outdoors, and today I'm going to be doing a little review on the Hoyt Nitrum Turbo. I've had this bow since March of this year, and uh, I feel I can give an accurate representation of what I like and don't like about it. Um, basically, this is my favorite bow to date. Uh, the 2016 Hoyt just came out uh, a couple weeks ago, and I I really don't think I'm going to be getting a new bow this year because I like this bow just so much. Um, the 2016 Hoyts look great, but I really don't feel the differences make up for the cost of buying a new bow. And uh, I just, there's nothing really that I don't like about this. Um, the specs are it's uh, 350 feet per second ATA, 33 inch axle to axle. It's got a six inch brace height, although with the number one cams, the small cams, it's only around a little over five and a half. And uh, so the brace height will vary from cam to cam, but it, for the number three cam, which is what most guys are in, it's gonna be a six inch brace height. A little something to note about the speed rating is what I've read online and what I've experienced with my boat is that most of these 2015 turbos and any of the nitrums are uh, coming in a few feet or more above the stated speed rating. Mine's coming in at a calculated IVO of 356, which if you go and watch my tuning video for the nitrum turbo, which I'll link in the description box, you can see my speed test and how I was adjusting the speed knocks to get more, more speed out of it. And I got it up to a 356 IBO, which is phenomenal, especially for the draw cycle and the shootability that you get with this bow. Uh, go over the draw cycle. It it stacks up really quickly, like right out of the gate, um, and there's no hump, but it holds it through pretty much the whole cycle. It's it's there's no hump. Like people who've been shooting bows that dump off a little bit earlier in the in the draw cycle will feel like it has a hump, but on a draw board, the, the weight doesn't increase at the end. You're just pulling the weight longer. So, like I said, it stacks up pretty quick and just holds it all the way through until you get right to the back wall. The back wall is very solid. With the ZT cable guard, it uh, has a lot of tension on the cables, and so you're really, you're just not moving. You're not going to have a lot of room to creep on the back end of this bow, but um, it's not overly jumpy. I'd say you have like an eighth of an inch or a little bit more, but it wants to go. Um, it doesn't make it any worse of a bow, and uh, to me, I like that better because it keeps my form in check, and um, I actually have this bow short string just a little bit because um, I took off the grip, the factory grip, and that made my draw length just a little long, so I had to shorten the draw length just a little bit to get it just right, and um, so that added a little bit more holding weight and made it a little bit more jumpy, which I actually shoot better with. Um, but I love the draw cycle. At full draw, it's, uh, for me, the string angle is perfect, even with the small cams. It just, everything lines up really nice. And I can take my shot. It's a pretty stable platform to shoot from. Um, I don't know, I just, I really like shooting this bow. As I said, I took off the grip because with this number one cam, the, the brace height on this bow is just a little over five and a half inches. And with hunting clothes on, with in like cold weather, or even just a little bit of bulky clothes, um, I knew I'd get some string slap, and I didn't want that to throw off my shot. So I took off the factory grip, and that gives me just a little bit more brace height. Um, gives me about a quarter inch more, and I mean it's not a lot, but it should help a little bit. And uh, shooting off the riser is pretty comfortable. It's it's rounded like it like it's an option to do so 
um, and you can get side plates I just haven't ordered any yet but it would look a lot nicer you can see here's a scratch that I made on my 2015 elk hunt and uh, besides that and a couple right here that's the only that's the only scratches that I really put on this bow in that rigorous hunt the finish stood up pretty well other than those two spots I guess that would be my only complaint about this bow is this just big scratch but I think any bow will do that when you're dragging it through all the brush and stuff getting to elk as for the noise of this bow, it's relatively quiet. I wouldn't say it's the quietest bow I've ever shot, but it's really nothing to worry about, and I don't think it's spooked any game thus far. So I think the the noise level is fine. It's these uh, air shocks work pretty good. I'm not sure if they add or uh, take away noise, but they look cool in contrast to the black because you can get accessory packages. Um, the overall looks of this bow is just outstanding. It's, in my eyes, it's the sharpest bow they've ever built. So, really like that aspect of it. Uh, that's about it. The only other thing I have to say is this bow has been very tough so far. I was getting out of a tree stand the other day, and I had it clipped on and was lowering the rope, and it got about halfway down, and uh, I was just trying to go slow, and the pin the ring that I was attaching, the clip that I was hooked onto, somehow just sheared off. I don't know if it was a factory defect or what, but the whole bow just dropped, like I'd say about 10 feet out of the deer stand. It just landed on the bottom limb and uh, kind of bounced around on the ground. But it was, it seems fine. Uh, I did the, there's no splinters or anything on the limbs. It just my uh, my stabilizer moved a little bit but the bow is just fine I couldn't find anything that got damaged or anything and it still shoots fine so happy about that that's going to conclude this 2015 Hoyt Nitrum Turbo bow review uh, it's my favorite bow to date I like I said I don't think I'll be getting the new 2016s but Hoyt says they're better so I guess I'll have to shoot them and uh, we'll see what happens Thanks for watching the video guys, share your support, subscribe to Rock Outdoors.